Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you various parameters of the product simple master material for props. This tutorial is a copy of advanced master material for props, which is the original full version of this product. Simple material is a version with considerably fewer features. During this tutorial, you will see me working in the layer parameters tab, but for this product, everything is in the details tab. I recommend you to watch the first tutorial if you haven't seen it yet. In specular parameters, you have the parameter named specular switch default F0, metallic F90. Although the default setting may be enough for you, depending on your material and type of metal, this setting allows you to have a higher specular, which gives better results for metal textures. You can use the website Pixel and Poly, which offers an IOR list for different materials if you want precision when adjusting the IOR specular, or simply adjust according to what gives you the best result. As you can see, enabling this parameter completely changes the look of the material. When you're using a material that reflects a lot of light over a large area, such as a wet road, you can use the parameter for Snell Reflections. This will give you a different look, which can be useful depending on the effect you want to achieve. When you have a material that reflects a lot of light like this one, you don't necessarily want it to be noticeable from miles away, otherwise it can look weird. You can control the reflections by enabling the uh, parameter correct distance reflections, then adjust the distance at which the reflections will be disabled with the two parameters fade distance. If you have a material with visible tiling, you can remove the tiling using the feature material randomization. However, this doesn't work with every type of texture, but it's very useful for textures such as asphalt or grass, for example. You have several parameters to control the rotation randomization, the scale randomization, the UV scale of the mask, and you can also visualize the mask. This feature only works with UV or world position, but not with triplanar. The parameter UV index allows you to choose up to four different UV channels. This can be useful for complex meshes using multiple UV channels. The feature random UV offset allows you to have a random offset of the UV depending on the mesh position. The parameters of influence allow you to set the offset intensity for the vertical and horizontal direction. You can set the randomization frequency with the parameter distance between random offset a greater distance will reduce the offset. You can use a mask of influence to apply the offset to the area of the mask only. You can use the four channels of your image to get four masks, then choose the mask you want with the parameter channel RGBA selection. When creating your mask, make sure there isn't too much gradient as UV will be distorted in these gradient areas. You can, however, control the gradient with the parameter's black and white intensity. You can use this feature with the foliage tool, but you have to check the parameter enable per instance random. The feature UV Panner allows you to scroll the texture vertically and horizontally at the desired speed and direction. The feature UV Atlas allows you to use a texture split into several areas similar to a trim sheet but structured in a more specific way in order to work correctly. In this example, this texture is divided into 16 areas, so an atlas count you need to set to 4 because there are 4 areas vertically and horizontally. You can choose the selected area with the parameters UV horizontal and vertical selection. You can also modify the rotation of the selection. If you wish to have selection variations based on the mesh position, you can enable the parameters random UV position 
horizontal and vertical. And the parameter random position distance allows you to control the frequency of these variations. You need to think about what type of atlas is the best for your needs and experiment with the parameters. You can adjust the UV scale to suit the UV of your mesh and the atlas texture. Since this texture has two horizontal and four vertical areas, you will not be able to use the parameter random UV position horizontal. The feature random value per position allows you to randomly modify the albedo roughness and metallic depending on the mesh position. Several parameters are similar to those shown previously, such as distance between random value and per instance random. You can activate up to eight random values. The parameter enable random value with texture allows you to get more random results and texture random seed lets you choose up to four different variations. This feature also works with the foliage tool The feature custom primitive data parameters allows you to modify the albedo and the roughness of each mesh. To use custom data, you need to activate this parameter in your layer, then select the mesh and in the details panel of the mesh. Look for the custom primitive data, then click on the plus and adjust the values. Unlike the material instance, you can drag the mouse to modify the values without having any loading. You can use custom data in the details panel if you want to modify the whole material instead of the layers. When using layers, you have probably noticed that there are five layers. The layers are all identical and it doesn't really matter which one you choose to use unless you're using custom data. Each layer has its own custom data parameters allowing you to modify the albedo and roughness of any desired layer. This gives you more control over the appearance of your materials and the advantage of using custom data is that you can customize each mesh without being limited to eight variations like the uh, feature random value per position. You will notice that there is a tab for custom primitive data index. This tab is useless except for displaying parameters in an organized category as Unreal Engine always displays custom data parameters in the material instance even if they are useless. The feature material details allows you to use an additional normal map. The parameters are similar to those of the main material that were explained in the first tutorial. As you can see, an additional normal map can add details to your material, a very useful feature for video games. You can also use the fade distance parameters to disable the normal map at the specified distance. You can also replace the whole material by unchecking the parameter material details normal only. You can adjust the color for a better transition between the two materials. You can add a height map with nanite tessellation for even more details. This feature greatly improves the quality of your mesh when you're up close. The feature gameplay camera fade improves the visibility in game. To enable it, you need to set the blend mode to mast. You can also adjust the fade distance parameters to suit your needs. 
This is the last tutorial for this product. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe.